my musical education wasn't wasn't formal, but my mother had all all of the show albums. She had all of Richard Rogers and West Side Story and My Fair Lady, and I ate those records up, you know. And if you scratch me, I could I'll, I'll sing Carousel to you. So <laughs> I learnt music. Um, listening to musicals. These songs actually represent the end of a very long drought for me. I, I hadn't written in a, in a good eight, maybe ten years. Largely because uh, my, my maxim has always been, if you've got nothing to say, shut up. Um, but also I, I think songwriting, there's a lot of navel-gazing that goes on, a lot of self-obsession, um, you know, me, me, me. I just got sick of me, me, me. and. Um, then I thought, well, I'm going to have to break this drought somehow. What if I went back to the community I come from, to the, that uh, little shipyard town in the north of England, and attempt to write a dramatic piece with songs about that shipbuilding community, where I would give voice to other people than myself, um, other points of view. I wanted the music to reflect the, the, the folk music of the area we come from, which is a very, very rich tradition. It's time for a man to put down roots and walk to the river in his old man's boots. I was born within the shadow of the shipyard. Literally, the end of my street most of the time was a, a mighty quarter of a million ton tanker or a battleship or some huge ship. I mean, as much as I love the chorus line, this, is, this cannot be a chorus line. You know, it's, this is working men. They need to move in a certain way, and yet they need to, it needs to be choreographed. It needs to, be, it look, needs to look beautiful and tough. But I watched these men go to work every day. Thousands of men would go, trudge to work, and they'd trudge back. My grandfather was a shipwright. My father built um, turbines, and, uh, and you know, I, I would think, well, is that, is that my destiny too? I didn't want to go there. I was terrified of the shipyard. It was a, it was a terrifying place. Um, but I knew, I knew these people. I, I was brought up with them. Um, and finding voices for them wasn't that difficult. Oh, what do you got? Oh, what do you got? What do you got? Oh, what do you got? You got out. You got out. Else, hey, what do you got? Oh, what do you got? What do you got? Oh, what do you got? You got out. You got out. Else, how is it different writing? Uh one of those extraordinary iconic pop songs that you've written, those rock songs that you've written, and then a play for Gideon in act one of The Last Ship. Well, you, you need dramatic tension, you, you need narrative, you need a story being told. It, you know, the story begins here at the beginning of the song and by after three minutes something should have tr transpired, some, some element of the story. Uh, in, in, a, in a pop song, you, you, can, you can express one emotion for three minutes. You know, <laughs> I love you. You love me. You don't love me. You know, it's, it, there aren't that many, but it, they just go round and round in a loop. <laughs> I've written a few of them, but um, <laughs> dramatic songs. Dramatic songs need need to move the narrative, and, and uh, that's, that's a lovely lesson to learn. My ideal for this thing eventually is that it could be done in a school with a guitar in a class. You know, it doesn't need these mechanical wonder. Right, right, right. I, I just don't want it. I want it to be done very simply. Oh, the roar of the chains and the cracking of timbers, the noise at the end of the world in your ears, as a mountain of steel makes its way to the sea and the last ship.